So how would you describe uh, what's going on at, uh, in the locker room at halftime? You guys down 7-0. Um, I just think uh, it was a chance for us to refocus, kind of uh, get our mindset, um, or change our mindset a little bit, uh, and uh, make sure that we didn't come out like we did the first half. All right, you guys hear me? Defensive performance. They get that first touchdown, but after that, you guys were able to, to clamp down. Feel? Did you feel like the defense was playing all right there in the first half, even though they got that first goal? I don't believe that the energy was there, or the enthusiasm, or, or maybe even the effort. I do believe that uh, that that changed um, in the second half. But I, I thought we we played well. Um, a few mistakes here and there that that resulted in, in a couple of big plays and, and some points that, uh, to be honest, we shouldn't have given them. So just it always comes down to assignments and, and, and a few mistakes here and there. But How, how taxing was it on the safeties to have the cornerback situation so depleted? Uh, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't think twice about it. When Mike uh, Davis went out there, I was totally confident in his abilities to cover. Uh, I've been with him all year, and, and he's a great player. And so I just think he just picked up where, where Rob left off. Um, but you're right, we, uh, we are a little thin in the, <laughs> the cornerbacks. But uh, I thought they played well. I thought Mike Davis stepped up, played well. Mike Hake uh, made a lot of great plays for us. So They, they ran that fade in the end zone, 7-0, and they had the ball down. And that you, you were trying to make a play, if I remember right. You you're closing in on that side. Did you think that it had gone over your head and it had gone in? I, had thought, I thought I could at least get a hand on it. Um, it went right. It seemed like right over my fingertips. But uh, that was a design call. We knew that that was going to come out. And so uh, our coaches actually called that for me to go and kind of double and, and help with Mike. So after you missed it, Rob, turned sorry. around and saw saw that Rob had pulled it down. Well, it, big boost for the defense. Yes, level. huge boost. Very excited for Rob and and uh, kind of what he's battled through and, and uh, for him to make a big play like that when we needed it was man, it was huge. On that play, you thought you down the ball at the one. Did he? What's the rule there? He said you stepped in the end zone. So or? no, the rule is uh, the ball can't cross the plane. Oh, okay. So you can be in the end zone. I think of it kind of like soccer. Uh -huh. You can be out of bounds as long as the ball doesn't doesn't cross. And so <laughs> maybe a uh, ball was carried, and I thought I had it, but maybe not. As far as the second half, come out. How big was it for the offense to get a touchdown on that first oh, drive? That big play. Huge. I think I think that set the tone for us the second half and gave us the the energy and the momentum that we needed. I mean, we needed a big play somewhere, offense or defense, and, and uh, to get it so quick and so early was, man, that, that might have given us, you know, that that push to finish out through the second half and get the win. So that was big. Bronco talked about the penalties. There were some key pass interference, defense holding, you know, some, some tough calls at tough times. How hard is it to move past one of those plays and not let it get in your head and be thinking about it and right. move on to the next one? Obviously, it's frustrating. I mean, you try everything you can to, to, to make a play, to stop them, to hold them, and, and uh, but really, you just kind of got to shake it off and, and uh, move on. There's nothing you can do about it. The more you think about it, then then the harder it will be for you. And and uh, so yeah, you just got to move on it and uh, just keep playing.